Hello everyone and welcome to the 2024 watercolor flower guide. It has been a couple of years since I did a watercolor flower guide and it is time to bring back some old favorites, do some new flowers, and to get back into another guide so that you can have a chart full of flowers you know how to paint. So let's first start with how to make the chart. So I'm using a 9 by 12 inch piece of watercolor paper and on the 12 inch side of my paper I am making 2 inch sections. So I'm just marking it with a little dot 2 inches across. So then on the 9 inch side of my paper I am marking 1 and a half inches down each side. This is going to give me, once I make the lines, 6 boxes by 5 boxes. So it's going to be little squares. And if you remember from our watercolor guide a couple of years ago, what we're going to do is we're going to paint a flower every day. And then at the end of that painting session, we are going to put that flower into one of our boxes so that by the end of the 30 days of watercolor flowers, you will have a complete chart of beautiful flowers that you know how to paint. So you'll have a watercolor flower guide completely finished. So this, once you put the lines in, should give you six boxes across and five boxes down, equaling 30 boxes. Here are the materials you'll need for the 30-day project. I'm using a sketchbook to show you how to plan out your flowers, a pencil. I've cut a bunch of 9 by 12 inch pieces of watercolor paper in half to paint each of the flowers, my Winsor Newton watercolor paints, and my Winsor Newton size 6 round watercolor brush. You'll also need paper towel and water. I can't wait to get started. I will post the first flower today. See you soon.